Father Payton and Cardinal Sunans met recently for an interview. Since 1962, he has been the Cardinal Archbishop of Malines, Brussels, in Belgium. In this capacity, he distinguished himself as one of the four moderators of the Vatican Council, and later as a member of its coordinating commission. The other day when I met you for, uh, here for the first time, you spoke about uh, the family being a microcosm of the church itself. Mm. And in the family, you couldn't hear tell of a family without a mother. Mm. So I would be um, grateful if you would um, put your light on that thought again of the family and its relationship or its being a reflection of the church itself. Well, well, in the council in Vatican II, you have a little word somewhere to say that uh, the f church in a nutshell is the family. The family is church in a nutshell. Communion, the church is communion, is unity with. So the first unity you have, the first church you have, is a family. And so there, I think, uh, of course, that the role of the mother is uh, more than precious and is really the introduction. She is, women always create, creates the climate and she gives the spirit uh, by a thousand ways, you know. We need uh, women in the church and we need uh, a sort of continuity of the role of Mary in the church today. I feel as a very important step forward that more and more women are taking their full responsibilities in the church. Well, uh, just in line with that, that it would be uh, sad for a family where the mother went away, mm. or the mother was put away, mm. that we'd notice it immediately. Mm. So I, I am very uh, uplifted with your remarks uh, regarding the family and the place and role of the mother in the family, and consequently Mary's role in the church. Mm. And uh, I would like to ask one more question, and that is, just like Mary herself suffered an eclipse, you might say, in recent years, and that I personally feel, and uh, I think I have basis for my observation, that that eclipse is beginning to move. Likewise, that prayer of the Holy Rosary has suffered an eclipse. Um, from my relationship and friendship with your eminence, I, I know in my heart that you pray the Rosary and that you are devoted to it. I would like to get your thoughts on, uh, for the benefit of us all, regarding the Holy Rosary as a prayer to help us adore God. Mm. Well, I suppose that, uh, of course, we, we are so accustomed to the Rosary, for us it's not only a problem, but it's not a problem, it's a joy. Perhaps for younger people, we have to educate them, perhaps not asking them from the start uh, the Rosary in, at length, like we were accustomed, are accustomed to do it, but to show them the depth of it and perhaps introducing them more gradually, perhaps something of that kind has to be done. I speak now in the, in the field of education, how to bring them to that and showing that those uh, 10 Ave Marias are sort of introduction to say with Mary and with her lips and with her heart, uh, our Father. At the end, I always am struck by the fact that when she appeared in Lourdes to Bernadette, she didn't move her lips when Bernadette was saying the rosary, but when Bernadette arrived at the glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, that moment you saw her lips moving, showing that all the time we are saying the Ave Marias, our Blessed Lady is saying glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. So, once we can educate our people and showing that uh, deep meaning, so to avoid uh, what they should call the mechanization of a rosary. I think the youth is opposed to the artificial mechanization of it, and we have to introduce them by such a way of perhaps uh, showing the, the depth of each mystery and so on. That will be one of your tasks, since you yes. are so young and you keep yes. young, so that will be the task for the future, I suppose. And I well, Eminence, I, uh, in the name of all that's watching you today, I say their thanks as well as my own. We have been honored by your presence. And personally, my way of saying thanks is through my prayers to God with and through our Blessed Mother for your intentions and for your blessings and happiness. 
Thanks ever so well, much. I thank you, Father, for Thanks. what you are and what you be for the church. 